intersection of three planes. The following system of equations represents three planes that intersect in a line. 2x plus y plus z equals to 4, x minus y plus z equals to p, 4x plus qy plus z equals to 2. So these are the three planes which intersect in a line. Now you need to determine p and q for them to intersect in a line. That's the first part. And second is determine an equation in parametric form for the line of intersection. Okay. Now <clears throat> this is a very good problem. And uh, let's go to the basics. And that is how will the matrix look like if the planes intersect in a line? This is what you have to really answer. Okay. Now if you remember the matrix should look like this. I'll explain you this. <clears throat> so when you reduce your matrix, the augmented matrix, uh, by the row reductions, correct? By doing elementary operations on the row, you should land up with this kind of a matrix where row 3 should have all zeros. This means left side, this is part of the matrix, represents the left side of equality sign, that part. So 0, 0, 0 means coefficients are 0, 0, 0 and if the right side is also 0, then whatever may be the value of x, y or z, the equation is always true. Correct? So. <clears throat> Here we can define a parameter and we can say let z equals to t as a parameter for example. Now that parameter, one parameter means single dimension which is the equation of a line. Line is a single dimension thing, correct? So that results into intersection of lines. So that is kind of thing which we want to derive at, right? So we'll do the Gaussian method and we'll do row reduction so that we'll try to land into this situation and to make it 0, 0, 0 equals to 0 that should help us to find the values of p and q correct so that's what we'll do now so let's first write down our augmented matrix right from the given equation so from here we can write 2 1 1 right these are the coefficients of x y and z equals to we draw a line here and on the right side we write down equals to what four okay now for this one it is one minus one one equals to p we need to find p this is four q and one equals to two and we need to find the value of q now the next step for us is to make this zero Let's first copy the first row as such, right? Normally you will see the first row is always kept the same. Okay, now how should we make this as zero? Now you can make this as zero if you do multiply the first row by minus two, then it becomes minus four, right? Minus four plus four is zero. So that is how we are going to make this row zero, and that's the strategy, correct? So we do minus 2 r1 plus r3 is it okay this is what we do to make 4 0 that is the whole idea we have to get first thing this corner 0 right to solve these three simultaneous equations or system of equations which represent planes right so when i do minus 2 times this line it becomes minus 4 minus 2 minus 2 and minus 8 which i am going to add to this right so minus 4 plus 4 will be 0, right? And when I do minus 2 times this, so basically what I'm doing is I'm multiplying this by minus 2 and then adding to this, right? So I'll just use this line. So minus 2 and Q, right? So Q minus 2 I can write. And here 1 minus 2, right? So which will give minus 1. 
and here what do I get? I get I'm multiplying this by minus 2 so it gives me minus 8 right minus 8 plus 2 is 6 minus 6 now this is what I've done and uh, with that I got a 0 here now I'm doing the second step also in the same equation and the idea is to get this 0 right so we already got that part now this one how do we get 0 here we can get 0 here by multiplying this equation by 2 correct right and then adding it is that okay to r1 minus so here what we will do is we'll do minus of this which is minus of r1 plus 2 times r2 is that okay then if I do 2 times r2 we get 2 here and when we take away 2 from 2 we get a 0 so that is how we'll get row 2 right so this is our simplified or equivalent row 2 and when we do that we get 0 here and minus 3 1 and 2p minus 4 okay so we, what we did was we did minus of this and added 2 times this correct okay? so that's how we get that row so 2p minus 4 2 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 minus I mean 2 minus 2 so we get 0 correct now when you see this equation what do you see we want these zeros right now to make the zero now if we add these two equations correct we can get this zero correct so let's do that <clears throat> and what we will do now is so we'll keep the first equation as such which is 2 1 1 4 and next equation also we are doing we are doing we are, we are just making this zero correct so so the operation being done here now is we are adding r2 and r3 is it okay row 2 and 3 so let me copy row 2 now 2 is 2p minus 4 and here if we add them we get 0 here and we add this we get q minus 5 correct and when we add this we get 0 and this is minus 6 for us now have a good look at it so basically what we have done is in the last row we already got two zeros but not the third one but and but, you know this matrix the can show us equation solution as a line if q minus 5 is made 0 do you see that part so we can say here now is let me take we, let me do it on the right side so we say for this system of equations to show intersection of planes as a line we should have in the third row all zeros right so therefore q minus 5 should be 0 so we equate that q minus 5 equals to 0 and from here we can say q is equals to 5 since only q equals to 5 can make it 0 so this solution is q is 5 so we have already found the value of q correct so now we know q how to get p for us to get p what do we do oh when we added this we did a mistake we did not do this to the we didn't add this thing so 2p minus 10 we should get this is wrong 2p minus 10 minus 6 minus when we add them minus 6 and minus 4 we get minus 10 2p minus 10 correct so we are adding r2 and r3 we have to add both left and right side so we get 2p minus 10 here so to make this 0 we make q minus 5 as 0 and to make this 0 we need to make 2p minus 10 as 0 so we say 2p minus 10 equals to 0 that means 2p equals to 10 or p equals to 5 and therefore we can say that q equals to 5 and p equals to 5 gives us intersection of this plane as a line correct so we, that's our answer so q equals to 5 and p equals to 5 so that is what it is now now we know that the solution of this, these three planes intersecting as a line is only when q and p 
values are 5, correct? Now with this, we can plug in these values and solve for part B, which is determine an equation in parametric form for the line of intersection. You get it? So, let's do that part. So, we'll write 2, 1, 1, 4, 0, minus 3, 1, and P is 5 for us, so 2 times 5 is 10, 10 minus 4 is 6, and then we get 0, 0, 0, and here we get 10 minus 10 is 0. That is what is expected. So that is the equation, uh, the reduced matrix which we get. Now from here, we can find the parametric equation of a line. So can you help me doing that? So because this is 0, we can say let z equals to 0, right? We can see a parameter z equals to t, right? Because this equation is always true. It is like this, 0 plus 0 plus 0 equals to 0, right? Now from here, we are going back. From the augmented matrix, we are trying to write our equation, okay? So we get minus 3y plus z equals to 6. Z is t for us, right? So y minus 3y, let me write like this first, 6 minus t, because z is t for us, right? And so y equals to, so y will be, let me write this as 6, divided by minus 3, which is minus 2, minus, and minus becomes plus t over 3, correct? So that is my y value. To find x, what will I do? I'll use the first equation, correct? And I will use these as my y values. So it gives me 2x plus y plus z equals to 4. So instead of x, y and z, I will write the t values, right? So I get 2x, let me write equals to 4 minus y. So minus y will be this minus, correct? So that means plus 2 minus t over 3 minus z. Minus z means minus t. Is it okay? Now x is equal to, we'll do half of this. So 4 plus 2 is 6 and half of 6 is 3. Correct? And uh, this we can reduce further. When we make this common denominator, it becomes minus 3 and minus 3 minus t is minus 4 over 3. We'll divide by 2. It'll give minus 2 over 3t. Correct? So we get our equation in parametric form. Correct? So these are our equations. So we get x equals to, so our solution here is, <coughs> Let me write this with this ink. x equals to 3 minus 2 over 3t. y equals to minus 2 plus t over 3. And z equals to t. We'll write 0. What? We'll write z equals to t. Correct? This is the parametric form of our equation. And that's the solution. So I hope you understand the steps which we followed. The first step is to think what should we do so we are looking for a reduced matrix like this right and we followed the gaussian method of elimination and we did simplified operations on each row elementary row operations to reduce our augmented matrix one by one steps we followed so that we get in the last row 0 equals to 0 0 plus 0 0 0 equals to 0 right and to make it 0 we equated uh, the variables, whichever Q and P, and got their values. And once we get their values, then we can find from the equation uh, the line. Correct? So, so that's how it is. I hope you understand. Thank you.